Resting easy for now at Southampton Dock, the Almirante Juan de Bourbon has some challenging months ahead of her. The Spanish frigate is one of the most advanced warships in Europe. She's the flagship of the country's contribution to a complex NATO drill, designed to both flex and reassure, depending whether you're friend or foe. All 31 countries are taking part in the exercise. Those aboard this frigate are just a small portion of the 90,000 military personnel who make up the 2024 NATO task force drill. They're committed to a complex series of wargaming exercises. Next part of the exercise is uh, taking the crew to the Arctic Circle. They'll need suits like these, something like minus 17 degrees is what they can expect when they go outside. Simulating battle drills, testing missile and air defence capabilities, casualty evacuation drills and electronic warfare, all taking place in the region where winters are harsher than most of us can endure. What does this do? Yeah. Don't touch yeah. it, Kay. <laughs> we, are, we are safe. So why challenge such hostile conditions? A conscious decision to illustrate to those who would prefer war that NATO is ready whenever, wherever, however the threat might come. Well, NATO is not aimed and against uh, any specific individual, I would say. NATO is a defensive alliance. So uh, NATO, what, what, uh, what it does is sending a very strong message of deterrence aimed uh, towards any potential future opponent, um, of capability and of unity. We can operate together. When we operate together, we are a vast superior force to any uh, uh, other force in the world. That responsibility falls to those like Soleil Godin. She tells us life below deck is cramped. It gets uh, quite claustrophobic at times, but uh, you have to like have a great relationship with your roommate, so everything is smooth. Navigating a rabbit warren of grey corridors and narrow hatches is second nature to this young crew, more of an obstacle course for others. Around 200 crew aboard this Spanish vessel, um, near vertical steps wherever you turn, uh, down to the beating heart of this vessel, the engine room. Although Sky News was welcomed aboard, it wasn't quite access all areas. Well, here you can see where the main gate of the BLS, uh, for obvious reasons, as, as it, it is a classified uh, place, we cannot go inside. The ship could, theoretically, withstand a nuclear challenge by sealing all its doors to create a citadel. Although a drill, each of NATO's members, along with Sweden, will remain on constant alert throughout this exercise. What makes you nervous? Um, I, I wouldn't say that I'm nervous. I think I'm cognizant of the challenges with weather. Um, it is not... Are you saying our weather's bad? No, the weather <laughs> here in the UK is beautiful and I would expect nothing less. <laughs> I would say that the weather in the high north is challenging. Wargaming is tough work and sustenance is never far away for an ever hungry crew. Gracias. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I took it, I took it. Uh, they cook six times a day for the crew here, some 1,200 meals. Come this way to give you an idea of what they need when they're cooking the soup. Bigger than my bathtub. Healthcare, also important, and the ship's hospital and medical team are equipped to deal with everything from toothache to a severed limb. As tensions persist in Eastern Europe, NATO says this exercise sends a clear message. 50 ships, 80 aircraft together in a vast major exercise. That's the facts. Words are not needed because we can show the facts.